Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to convert a list of vectors to a data frame in R. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples rely on the list that we can create in line three of the code. So if you run this code you will see that a new data object appears at the top right of R Studio. And uh, we can also have a look at this new data object. And as you can see here at the bottom in the console, the data object is a list which contains two list elements, A and B. Now, if we want to combine these two elements into a data frame, we can use the sDataFrame function combined with the doCall function combined with the cBind function. So if you run line six, as you can see here in the code, um, you will see that at the bottom here in the RStudio console, a new data frame appears. And as you can see here, the data frame contains exactly the values that we had before in our list, but this time stored as a column. So each of the list elements that we had before, like here, list element A is the first column and list element B is the second column. Yeah, so that's how to combine vectors in a list to a data frame by column. However, you could also combine the list elements by row. So this is what I'm going to show you next here in line eight. So if you run line eight of the code, you will see that another data frame appears at the bottom here in the RStudio console. And as you can see this time, each of the list elements is a row. So the values of the first list element are stored, stored in the first row and the values of the second list element are stored in the second row. Yeah, so these are basically the two options how you can combine list elements to data frames in R. However, if you want to learn more about that, you could also check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial on the examples of this video. And uh, I will put a link to this tutorial in the description of the video, so you could check it out there. And also, if you have liked the video, of course, I would be very happy if you subscribe to my channel and if you leave me a comment below. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.